Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and today we're going to be going through how to use an industrial sewing machine. This one is my Juki DDL 8700. I've had it for about four years and to be honest it served me really well. This is the first ever industrial sewing machine that I've bought and so far I've not had any issues. And one of the previous machines that I've used is a domestic one. This is the Janome 2032. This is what it looks like. And it's very beginner friendly. I was able to get my head around it really quickly, but I did struggle to use thicker fabrics. It's not as fast. This is one of the first ones that I started to use when I was learning how to sew. And I'll, I'm just gonna compare the two and show you guys how to use an industrial sewing machine. So you can decide for yourself if you actually need one. I use it a lot for work. I make clothes for clients. I produce sewing patterns. So I need something that's really durable and works quickly and this does that for me. I'll walk you guys through all the features, so hopefully it'll kind of show you how to start if you're interested in getting an industrial machine. Let's start with what's around the actual machine. It comes with its own table, and on that table, it has measuring lines, which is quite handy to use while you're sewing. And on the left side of the table underneath, it has this nice little storage compartment which you can use to store your sewing supplies like seam ripper, needles and things you need on hand while you're sewing. At the top of the machine, it has this mini magnet and I use this to hold my sewing clippers. I've actually attached this pin cushion myself. I find this to be quite a convenient place to store my pins. It comes in really handy when I'm reaching for it. On the far right of the machine, it has the bobbin holders where you can store your bobbins and your threads. Here is the stitch length dial and this controls how long you want your stitches to be and the lever underneath is your back tack lever and you can also push this down and then pull the dial left or right depending on what length you want this dial that's on the side controls the height of your needle so turn it in order to push your needle up or down this lever controls the height of your foot Push the lever down to put the foot down, push it up to push your foot up. And underneath your machine, this is the knee pedal. So push your knee to the side and this also lifts your foot up. This is the pedal that's at the bottom and you push this to actually work the machine. Underneath your sewing table, on the right side, you have your on switch and this also controls and shows the speed of your machine. Above the sewing table, you're gonna have two spools. One is for your main sewing, and the one behind is the one that you use to wind your bobbin up. So it goes through this top hole first, and then it goes down, and you push it through this first hole and take it through all the compartments, and then wind your bobbin wind the thread round a few times and then push that little lever to click it in place put your foot on the pedal and this is going to wind the thread on the bobbin for you place your bobbin inside your bobbin holder and gently guide the thread through the compartment of the bobbin holder and then when it's in place gently pull your thread through. This mini compartment is where the bobbin is stored but when I put my bobbin in I go through the bottom I find this a lot easier so put this when you hear a click then you know everything's in place. This controls your tension so you move it to either loosen the tension or to tighten the tension. To thread your needle it each has its own openings that it goes through so this is the first one that's at the top of the machine 
you take it down to the next one the manual which comes with this machine will show you the steps that you need to follow i'm just showing you here because it's always good to have a visual representation of it and then it goes back down again towards the needle for industrial machines you are going to thread your needle from left to right in order to get your bobbin thread out push your needle in and this will bring the bottom thread out and just use your fingers to pull it this is an example of me sewing very slowly on this machine and you do this by very gently pressing on the pedal pedals on industrial sewing machines are very sensitive it only needs a very light touch and this is me going very fast and the numbers just below the on switch shows you what speed it is so the higher the number the higher the speed your machine is going at i'm not actually sure what this is called but it basically holds your machine when you push it back so now i'm just gently pushing my machine back to open up my oil basin and you can see where your oil level is at industrial sewing machines need oil to operate that's the major difference between a domestic machine and an industrial machine this is the oil that i use for my machine and i usually change my oil about once or twice a year to change your foot on your industrial machine you just need to unscrew using your screwdriver get the foot you want to change it to and simply screw it back in place to change the needle on your industrial sewing machine it's basically the same process so you're going to unscrew this will loosen the hold on the needle you take the needle out you get a new needle and you're going to screw it back in place so just tighten it the other way and make sure everything is nicely positioned okay so there you have it that's hopefully everything you need to know about using an industrial sewing machine i've tried to cover as much as possible now this is not a computerized one those will have different features and this is quite a beginner friendly it's really basic in terms of features and for me it was a good one to start off with i got mine for about 500 pounds i'm based in the uk industrial sewing machines can go up way more than that even domestic sewing machines can be more expensive so for my first machine i didn't want to invest like a lot of money in something that i wasn't sure of if if i would like it basically so this turned out to be good on all all fronts i'll link below a few places where you can get um industrial sewing machines they're not affiliate links so it's just places where i got mine from and just for your information and if you like this video put a like down and comment any questions that you have and don't forget to subscribe to my channel this is a new channel i'm still trying to grow it and i'm always open to knowing from you guys what type of content and tutorials you want to see so hopefully i'll see you in the next one